right, for our next example, we're going to go ahead and look at a change Mastercam has made to the extend edge curve function for your morph toolpath. So we're looking at a computer mold core here, and I want to go ahead and run a morph uh, along some of these outside edges here, these outside faces. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on uh, some edge curves I've created just to sort of demonstrate this. And I will grab my morph toolpath from my multi-axis gallery. And we'll go ahead and we'll just grab just a 10 millimeter ball nose. I'll go down to my cut pattern and we'll go ahead and run this off a couple of from and to curves. That'll be my from curve and then my to curve. And then I'll go ahead and select my drive surface. Now I'm going to go ahead and change a couple things. I'm going to go ahead and do a full start and end at exact surfaces, edges. Uh, step overs at one millimeter, that's plenty fine here. Um, but I'm not going to use the extend trim functions quite yet because we want to see what this looks like initially. I will go down to my tool axis control and I'll do five axis surface width tilt and I'll just do a side tilt of about 80 degrees or so. Fairly standard issue stuff. And no collision control yet. So we'll generate that tool path and it's not going to be a, a bad tool path but you know because of the shape and length of those edge curves down on the bottom uh, the morph is, is very much losing the plot. It's just sort of getting lost down there. So what we'll do is we'll go back to the parameters for that morph and we'll try using that basic ex, you know, extend edge curve. So on my cut pattern, sorry, on the, um, there we go, parameters for surface edge handling, extend edge curve, we, we've already tried that on the parallel. Let's see what it does on a morph. I'll regenerate it and that's looking better, but again, it's sort of losing that plot down there on the bottom. So what I'd like to try to do is use some of the more advanced options. Under cut pattern, I'm going to use the extend trim function. That's what I'm looking for right there. That gives me an additional field here for extend and trim. And we'll go ahead and I'll do either a percentage of the tool diameter or a hard value. I'm a big fan of hard values, so I'm going to go ahead and extend these by about, say, 15 millimeter. Okay. And again, that's all I'm changing there. Green check, I'll regenerate. And we're getting a better looking tool path. It looks a little bit nicer. Now, I do want to see one thing. If I uncheck the option for edge curves, extending them, but I leave my extend trim on. Yeah, again, kind of messy. So it's not bad. Of course, the only problem I'm having there is that the tool is violating, you know, these surfaces here. So I do want to fix that with a couple of check surfaces to keep that thing under control. So I'll go down to my collision control and I'm going to go ahead and turn on some checks. And to show you what I'm using for checks, Basically, we're just going to keep the tool out of there. So stay, yep, stock to leave, checks, everything. That should be okay. Select the flute. And now I'm getting a really nice morph extended past those outer edges uh, without violating those parts or violating those surfaces. So we'll try the same thing on the bottom. And just to show you how it works in sort of this situation. So again, I'll do a morph. So same tool path, uh, same tool. And again, we'll do a to and from. So there's my from selection and my pattern two, much shorter piece of geometry there, uh, plus my drive surface. Now I'm going to turn off the extensions that were on earlier because, of course, Mastercam is carrying those over for me. We'll just take a look at it in its raw form. And I'm going to turn off those checks here. I don't need those here. And as you can see, you know, it's driving between those two curves. But of course, this curve being much shorter, uh, we're not getting a very, very clean pattern and certainly nothing I'd want to run. So in this particular case, I'm just going to try the extend edge curve option to just default to this longer piece of wireframe. And there we go. Much nicer looking toolpath. Um, and then again, 
If I want to extend the edges out a little bit under my cut pattern, I can do extend trim and I'll just use the same ones as last time, just a 15 millimeter extension. It's basically a tangential extension over the, out of the, over the end of that edge. And we've just extended that that little bit. 